Hi, and welcome to learning how to customize your eye tracking experience with GameHub. Please refer to our other video, Getting Started with GameHub, if this is your first time downloading GameHub. In this video, we focus on extended view and go into the details of what each setting in GameHub provides. Please note that every game might not have all the settings available. To access the setting menu, choose a game you want to customize and select the gaze tracking settings. This is the gaze tracking mode with extended view selected. The other view, free view, will be covered in another video. Briefly, extended view is a mode that turns the camera towards your gaze point without centering the view on it. Essentially, it rotates or moves the sides of your screen for an extended viewing experience. It works best with view angles below 90 degrees. It's also useful for being able to recenter the view without using a hotkey. Lastly, this is the recommended mode when head tracking is enabled. As you can see here, we have a graph visualizing this. The single line graph shows all these settings in action, with the distance from the center being the starting point and the shape of the line showing where eye tracking starts. A rolling hill-like formation like this one will mean a slower, gradual camera rotation, as opposed to a straight diagonal line which will mean a fast, quick transition of camera rotation. We will now dive into these settings a little deeper. Responsiveness. Here is where you will adjust or set the responsiveness of all the settings below. A zero setting means you will see no eye tracking response. A hundred means you will get an immediate tracking response and anything between will start from a slower to faster response depending on the percentage. This affects all the sensitivity settings below. Speed. The speed will affect the in-game camera and will make the camera turn towards your gaze point. Higher speeds mean quicker movements and lower speeds will mean slower movements. Please take note as I decrease the speed, you can see the graph change with the number of squares getting elongated which indicates slower speed. As I increase the speed, the squares begin to converge and become more numerous, indicating higher speeds. Exponent The exponent setting controls how gradually the speed ramps up. With this setting, you are changing the acceleration of the camera depending on how far you look. The higher the setting, the more dramatic the rotation or movement will be. Essentially, the higher you put the exponent setting, the longer it will take to start, but it will pick up speed to go faster when it hits that point. The curve here indicates the speed the further you look. When we see the exponent setting to the highest setting, we can see a longer delay in the bottom line until it reaches the point where it will pick up camera rotation speed. With the exponent setting to the lowest, the startup time for the camera rotation is instantaneous. So having a lower setting will have a shorter startup to when the camera starts speeding up or rotating, while setting it higher then will put a longer delay until it hits the speed. Inflection point. The inflection point is the distance from the center of the screen where the acceleration will start to level out. The inflection point will change when the increase of speed happens. It will show how fast it will increase on the center curve. A lower setting will increase the speed rotation of the camera with your gaze in relation to the center as you can see here with the graph. Therefore, having a higher exponent and a lower inflection point will start to make the camera's speed move very quickly. Therefore, the increase in speed will happen sooner. However, having a higher inflection point and a higher exponent setting will have a longer delay until the camera rotation hits. In this graph, the increase in speed will happen later. Start point. In this setting, the start point is how far from the center of the screen you'll have to look before the in-game camera starts to move. You are setting a point for when the camera will start rotating. The higher starting point, the longer you'll have to look away from the center for the camera to rotate. A zero on the start point will make the rotation occur relative to the center quite quickly. Increasing this to max will get a long delay until it hits full speed. End point. How far from the center of the screen you'll have to look in order to reach maximum camera speed. You are setting the points here when it has reached maximum speed. Therefore, start point and end point cannot be the same value. Having a zero on the end point will mean it will reach maximum speed very quickly. Increasing the end point will put a delay until it reaches maximum speed. View angle limits. These settings control how much your field of view can change. These settings behave differently depending on which gauge tracking mode has been selected. You can cap these angles for both yaw, up and down, and pitch left and right. For extended view, this means the settings control at which angle the camera rotation will have slowed to a complete stop. This graph shows you where your angle limits are capped at. The yaw reflects side to side and the pitch up and down. 